You're listening to Her Confidence Her Way Podcast, episode 86. Hello, girlfriends! How are you doing? I am your host, Emiko Rasmussen. Minasan konnichiwa! Her Confidence Her Way Podcast no Emiko Rasmussen desu. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a beautiful Christmas with your friends and families. Lots of gifts, lots of foods, and lots of joy, laugh, and I don't know, having this wonderful quality time. I think it's just really, really, really worth it, right? It's like one of the best time. And I know for people who are living in Japan, maybe New Year might be uh, more like a family gathering so who are celebrating new year's big um, i hope you're gonna have a wonderful new year as well all right first and first thank you so much for listening to this episode for those who are listening to this episode or this podcast weekly i really appreciate it and for those who are listening to this episode the very first time welcome and thank you so much for finding this podcast i would like to say hi to you so please make sure to subscribe to this podcast and sign up for my monthly newsletter for this month the december i did a special version i did a video i kind of like start talking and not having anything um to follow i just wanted to have a heart-to-heart conversation so i hope you guys found it very useful or not necessarily useful valuable and um, for those who are not signed up for my newsletter please do because i would love you to connect and then of course instagram accounts i love instagrams so if you have an account please follow me and i'll make sure to follow you back as well all right so shall we do a listener shout out yeah we should right okay today's listener shout out goes to anna aloha from hawaii i just found the podcast on spot spotify and love it i'm trying to learn japanese and was searching for vocabulary playlist to help me study parenthesis i just typed japanese and the podcast showed up in the search results interesting so if you type japanese you can also find this podcast that's cool anyway so going back i appreciate the bilingual facet of the show it helps me practice my japanese listening skills while the english parts fill in any information gaps i might have missed it's great to hear naturally spoken japanese thank you so much and keep up the great work thank you anna for sending me this message and aloha how is hawaii i bet it's pretty warm i mean i live in socal so it's pretty warm but that Hawaii is even warm and um, um, sounds like you are practicing you're learning Japanese so that's cool I hope that you will obviously speaking me speaking in English that doesn't really (laughs) help you much but whenever I do a Japanese um, episode I hope that would help you to not only learn Japanese but also just having like um, educational for your like work lifestyle as well before we move on to the main topic let's take a quick break are you living your life the way you want to live or are you following the life someone else told you to live 自分に自信がなく自分を好きになることができないこんな悩みを抱えていませんか her Confidence Harway.では、働く女性の自分探し、自分の価値観を理解するお手伝いをし、女性が自信を持って本当にやりたいと思っていることができるようにサポートし、生きがい充実感のあるワークライフを応援しています。Her Confidence Harway is all about helping Japanese working women to discover their true self so that they can see their own values and helping them to build their confidence to live the purposeful and meaningful work life they love. 自分らしくワークライフをクリエイトしていくための first step は自分の強みを理解すること 
日本人1人しかいないコーポレートアメリカで働く中で痛い恥ずかしいそして悲しい思いを繰り返しながら自分を信じる力をゼロから積み上げていきましたその時に一番役立ったのが自己発見ギフトタレントを探すことです自分ができること自分にしかできないユニークさを理解することによってどこにフォーカスを置いていいか自分が今後どんなキャリア人生を送っていきたいのかがよく理解できますもっと自分らしく充実したワークライフをクリエイトしたいあなたぜひ私のニュースレターに登録して自分のギフトタレントを探すワークシートで新たな自分を発見してみてくださいもちろん登録は無料です登録は私のウェブサイト www.herconfidenceherway.com からできますエピソードでお話しした内容アドバイスまたはエピソードで出てきたリンク他のサイトも私のウェブサイトで紹介していますそしてこのエピソードがとっても役に立ちもっと聞きたいと思った方はぜひこのポッドキャストをスポンサーしてください私のウェブサイトからポッドキャストをサポートするをクリック今後も私たちがポッドキャストを続けより良いエピソードをお届けするためにもリスナーさんからの寄付をお待ちしています最後に Let's connect with me on Instagram 私のアカウントは at emiko rasmussen e-m-i-k-o-r-a-s-m-u-s-s-e-n です DM からいただいたメッセージは必ずお返しします Alright, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast このポッドキャストの購読もお忘れずに Now Let's get back to the show. All right, are you ready for our actually the last guest of 2018? Yes, I met her, this guest, through Instagram. I'm telling you, Instagram is an amazing platform,、um, the social media or SNS. You get to meet so many amazing people, by the way. You get to not only meet, but connect and, and just become friends too. So it's really cool. But anyway, let me introduce today's guest. Her name is Yuri Yamamoto. Yuri Yamamoto is an independent editor magazine, Liberal. The goal of this magazine is raising awareness of feminism, gender equality, and self wellness in Japan. She hopes sharing her experiences and opinions about those topics on the zine will encourage people to start thinking about them and have a conversation with their friends. Please enjoy my conversation with Yuri. Hi, Yuri san, how are you doing? And welcome to Her Confidence Hawaii Podcast. Thank you. Hi.、Um, thanks. For having me. <laughs> yeah, I am super excited to have you.、Thank、so you. let's go ahead and get started. I want to、mm. know where did you grow up and share with us what were you like as you were growing up? Okay, so I was born and raised in Osaka, Japan,、mm. and I was, I could say, I was a pretty shy girl.、Um, and I remember, but I was a pretty shy girl, but I was. Um, was very passionate about painting and like observing people's behaviors.、Mm. And I,、um, I guess I was、uh, still like shy but the bubbly girl at the same time, but I didn't know how to like express the bubbly girl side of myself because like my family was, is still but very conservative. And then like she,、uh, they told me like how to、um, like be the, Typical Japanese girl、mm-hmm. grew up. So I was told to be like super quiet and just listen to other people. So yeah, I was, I was very like interested in people's behaviors, but also like didn't know how to do it, like express and talk with people.、Mm-hmm. But after、um, entering university and then Uh, start to study i n English g more,、mm-hmm. and I, I decided myself to be more active and then like start to talk to other people and like have a more interactive connection with other people.、Mm-hmm. Then that's where I、uh, realized myself that I'm not like super shy girl, but like wants to. Know other people's feelings and like express my feelings. 
um, other side, um, other side of like painting. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing! And how did you practice your English? Um, it's I started watching Disney Channel when Aww. I was super little, <laughs> yeah. and I yeah I love Rizzy McGuire. Oh, it's a, like mm-hmm. TV show. Yeah. And I really love the girl. She's super like bubbly girl, and she messes up all the things, but she's still <laughs> like very optimistic. And I mm-hmm. got really interested in, into her personality, and I always wanted to be like her. And mm. first, I watched it in Japanese, but I changed it into English with Japanese subtitle. And then, like, oh, I want to speak like her, and I want to act like her. Aww. That's where I started, and I also uh, get more interested in uh, English when I start studying English at school because I got like full score because mm. the English level the Japanese pe- uh, like school taught was super easy, so I could <laughs> get like hundred very easily. So like that's where I got in- interested in. And then I, after I entered the university, it's like language university uh-huh. in Osaka. So uh-huh. I had like a lot of options that I can, I could go abroad. So oh, okay. yeah, but I had to pass the test. So I studied very hard and I passed the test and I went to the United States for a year. Then, uh-huh. yeah. How many and years did you say? I just stayed one year. Oh, one year. So after yeah. one year and you had to come back to Japan. Well, I shouldn't say have to come back to Japan, but you're back to Japan. Um, yeah. how, what? How was your, like, how did you adjust your life? Because I remember when I came back to Japan, uh-huh. you know, over living, living in the U.S. for over, I think it was like two years or three years and then went back to Japan. It was a hard adjustment for me so and I definitely felt miserable I felt like of course like I missed my family I missed my friends I missed the food Mm. and all that but at the same time like the social pressure or working style was different yeah it's that it's like a like a you know like that feeling Mm. you know that like everything is just not open-minded that's how I (laughs) felt back then but how how did you adjust I felt so harsh and like I had and it's been like three years since I uh, left America but I still feel like so like pressured and um yeah and but I I don't I just gave up I I guess (laughs) I guess (laughs) I gave up like adjusting Oh, um, okay. You're I, just kind of being you still, and that's good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, thank you. I, like, I work at the Japanese company full-time, mm-hmm. so I had to deal with super typical Japanese people's, <laughs> like, behavior in society, expectations, but I still do what, like, humble people do at work, mm-hmm. like, saying, sumimasen, arigatou gozaimasu, like, mm-hmm. all the time so yeah. when I taking yeah. calls and stuff like that but I still like let myself to speak up about what I need to say at the meeting and stuff like that because I feel guilty not saying that after the meeting like I, why I didn't say that and stuff like that and uh, that's not an issue in America I guess but it's like the meeting can not go smoothly if nobody says anything Mm. In, in Japan, the meeting and stuff, but um, I feel so bad about myself not speaking up what I think at the meeting, so I just said it, and I don't, I still, I'm so sensitive about what other people think of me, but I just made myself think like nobody thinking anything about me, <laughs> so. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still have to, like, keep telling myself that but I am I feel better Um, wow that's pretty inspiring like we can end the show here (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. So, can you tell us more about like what you do? I know you have this amazing thing that I'm not going to mention. You can mention it. <laughs> and that just you have pr- published. So, tell us more about what you do. Okay.、Um, I am making a magazine called Libero.、Um, it's an independent magazine. It's not a magazine like Borg, Big Borg.、Um, Publishing magazine, but I am、um, making this magazine to raise awareness of feminism and well being、um, in Japanese community, like society in Japan. And,、um, but it's not like a guidebook of feminism, but it's we share a lot of experience that we had in Japan, like sexual harassment and stuff like that.、Mm-hmm. And then、um, that. The aim of this magazine is just to share those experiences with、uh, the readers and then、uh, hopefully tell, like, talk about it with、uh, the readers and what they think and stuff like that. So, I had an, an opportunity to read your、oh. magazine. It's so amazing. It's written both in Japanese and in English. Oh, yeah. And I really love it. And do you do this all by yourself or do you have a team? Oh, I have a partner. Oh,、um, gotcha. Yes. And I am, I guess, good at layouting the pages. So I m、um, uh, take the role as a art di- director. And then my friend,、um, her name is Hitomi. Hitomi does the, some writing part.、Mm-hmm. And then I. Um, I actually work at the publisher in Osaka, so I did the editing part as well.、Mm. Yeah. I see. Yeah, there are lots of like, beautiful pictures and some like, facts. So, you guys did the survey and everything. So, for all the listeners, I highly recommend you guys、uh, definitely check it out. But、um, can I ask you a question about this magazine?、Um, especially the thing where. Um, it was page number 10. It says, <laughs> A few years ago, there was an issue called Pikachu Incident. And I'm like, What is this? I've never heard of it. The title was Nihonjin Jose to Iwatashitachi. And、mm. Pikachu Jiken. What, what is this? <laughs> I've never heard of it.、Uh, so, like in America, like back in 2014, there was, a,、um, there was this white guy who had the seminar. For like a bunch of white guys, I guess,、mm-hmm. um, to tell like Japanese people, Japanese women is the most easiest woman to like hook up with. Yeah, and then the, the like strategy that she, he told them was like, just say Pikachu, Pikachu, or like just related words related to anime and the cultural, the, like anime and manga things. ね、ピカチュウって言ったら、like、um, 女の子たちは just like smiling and then like I know that and stuff like that and then you can just like push her and then like start doing sexual things and stuff like that and then that's disgusting but like as a like from the experience I had in America I, I could see that people saw us So, me like that way just because I'm a Japanese because they have the stereotype of Japanese like, Japanese is Japanese are like so quiet and smiling all the time and not saying yes. Oh, sorry, no, <laughs> and stuff like that. So, yeah, but、um, it happens. The way of thinking is. Like you can say in Japan too, like Japanese guys is also, or also think like、um, Japanese girls don't say what they think. So, like if you push harder and then they just accept it. Yeah. I see. That's kind of hard to hear. I mean, I can see how that could happen too. And when I was in,、uh, well, obviously, I, I still live in the US, but.、Mm-hmm. I, so one time I was talking to this guy, he's a little bit older, and he was like, So you're Asian, like you're so exotic, and blah, blah, blah. Like、yeah. he only saw me as just like object. 
And mm. I was like, ew. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But, uh, it's unfortunate, though, because when I search, um, whenever I search Asian woman or Japanese mm-hmm. woman, mm-hmm. the pictures that you see are very stereotypical. Or yeah. even, like, even, I'm not even kidding. Like, let me just do this right now, like Google, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a woman, yeah, like, like almost like a naked see. body. Mm-hmm. It's just everything is just so object, like objects we are seeing as not as a uh, yeah. intellectual yeah. woman, but it's just mm-hmm. like we seen as just like a stuffed animals. <laughs> no. Yeah, like if you have money, you can get her. Like that's the type of Japanese girl that. Yes, I completely agree because many of those otak- like people who are interested in Japanese culture, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, they are interested in going to Meido Cafe or those singers. Yeah, I, I, I don't, e- I can't even keep up with how many. <laughs> and I actually recently watched yeah. a, it's an independent documentary about Japan. Mm-hmm. And it was about uh, idol, Nihon no idol, but it was everything was all um, in English. But mm-hmm. it was talking uh, that this documentary film was talking about how um, those many of the Japanese old men or Japanese men who are the fan of those idol, mm-hmm. they are almost like um, uh, what's the word? It's like a shukyo, shukyo mitai. <laughs> well, they're saying that in English, but so shukyo mitai da yes. っていう風に言っていて、mm. I was like, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, obviously, yes, that's part of our culture, mm-hmm. right? And that's how yeah. the world see it's part of it. Mm-hmm. And many people actually ask me, like, so uh, uh, as you're growing up, did you actually wanted to be those idol? Like, not really, no. but I'm pretty <laughs> sure there are a lot of girls who are looking up to those women but all what they do yeah. is pretty much so basically what they're saying is that those I idol they cannot they have to treat everybody equally you cannot you know act differently mm-hmm. or anything so so every single time uh fans are interacting with the idol like they get the best um the best relationship with the the singer yeah. right so they they uh-huh. feel like you know they are the the best uh the favorite fan or something like that it was just like a very interesting and interesting mm. to see how the world sees japan yeah yeah um i think the problem right here is um that it's it's like real humans are involved but they are the like idol and stuff like that are considered as a business so Mm -hmm. that like you can't really like criticize what happening inside of it and Mm -hmm. just um the people who are in charge of the business can do whatever they want Mm -hmm. and like you said that the girls in like the singers in a group are uh like seen as an object yeah. Or like product. So that even though the women are treated just like a product, they can't claim anything because um, they don't know how to. Mm-hmm. Like Japan, in Japan, like um, um, women are not trained to be speak up or like yes. have a power or the way to nego- negotiate mm-hmm. so that you can't do anything but just like act like act to attract those guys mm-hmm. so that you can get money. Yeah, and just like that. cute cute and smile. Yeah, it's yeah, just scary to it's, me. I think that's a huge... I think, it, yes, I have to admit that's part of our culture. However, mm-hmm. at the same time, um, it, there, there, there are a lot that we need to really think about, right? Yeah. And then uh, in terms of speaking up and, you know, be able to kind of like speak from the heart... Um, it's been a while, but there was a U.S. Open, the tennis, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And yay for Naomi Osaka. She, you know, she won the title and that was such yes. an amazing um, part. Yeah. And so however, you know, when I was watching, actually, I wasn't watching um, 
during the the the, uh, the actual game live. I wasn't watching yeah. it live. I was watching afterwards and d- did hear so many things. And I'm like, what is going on? So I went back to mm-hmm. watch. And what really mm-hmm. happened was about how Serena uh, speak to the the mm-hmm. emperor uh, emperor. Well, no, emperor. Mm-hmm. Is it umpire? Yeah. The judge, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. she said that, you know, this is not right. I didn't cheat. I don't need to cheat to win. And yeah. because she, she showed her her emotion, the aggression, like, then she got penalized mm-hmm. for it. And then because she spoke to to the judge, um, she her point, well, her game was taken. I think that's how it was. I, I think it's it's been a while, so I forgot. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. yeah. How how did how was this like scene in Japan? Did someone like talk about this or because it was such a huge thing? And of course, uh-huh. there was a, a mixed feeling about this. One, you know, people who are feminists they really support her and you know supported her with what she did and you know spoke yeah. because if men does this, men do this, no one will say anything. But if women yeah. do this and we get penalized, right? Yeah. So that was the biggest point that Serena was talking about. But uh, but at the same time, I think the other part of the people are saying, well, this is a game. You know, you have to show a great sport- sportsmanship and you it, it's wrong to bring the feminist card on this in this game. So, uh-huh. I, I mean, I can see both sides. But what is your take on that? And how how was the society in Japan reacted towards this? Was there anything so the sad part of it is this they don't like in the media they don't report that oh. at all mm. that's the the problem of japanese media is facing they don't actually report the truth that involves you know mm-hmm. so that but i am interested in feminism and i really support selena and naomi so that i will uh, look through the old news on internet mm-hmm. and I could um, hardly find like few articles about it and then it says but they just like report the fact like Serena did say this and then the judge um, didn't take that take oh. the like the um Keikoku yeah back? yeah yeah <laughs> sorry yeah so but I personally think that it's not fair at all because, like, can the Japanese men tennis player, mm-hmm. um, he did, like, break his racket mm-hmm. a few times. And then I don't think he gets anything Penalized, right? Yeah. Penalized, but yes. then when Serena was really upset and she mm. broke her racket, that's when she get penalized for it. And yeah. And yeah, I, I, I definitely, you know, when I was watching it, I felt that it wasn't fair that she was Yeah, it being, wasn't you fair know, at all. The judge was really, really being yeah. hard on her. And then mm-hmm. at the end, when Naomi was receiving, right, the the, the word, and everybody mm-hmm. was booing, and obviously they weren't yeah. booing towards her. It was the her, situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe even the... Um, um, prayer, is it how you call it? The judge? Uh, yeah. oh, and yeah. then... And also, the, it's just the situation that Naomi didn't win, right? Um, yeah. But I don't know how much that was also explained in the different countries. I think in the U.S., uh, they explain it really well. So I think many people understood. And mm-hmm. then... And I really loved how, you know, Serena kind of like stepped in and she said, hey guys, this isn't about me. This is about Naomi and mm-hmm. let's move on and, you know, let's congratulate her. And that's when the booing stopped and, you know, everybody mm-hmm. cheered for her. So I yeah. thought that, you know, Serena was such a being a, a great role model, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah I think so too. A- uh, yeah, uh, unfortunate situation. But I'm really proud of uh, Naomi winning, and you know she stayed focused. That's why she had even no idea what was happening. So, yeah, yeah. I, so. I wish she said like something about it after the match. Like she uh, 
came to Japan and she talked about it a little bit, but she just uh, focused on what she did、mm-hmm. and like ex- what she, she explained it was like how she focused on、um, her match and then to win and stuff like that. But、mm-hmm. I wish、um, to I wish she said something like I thought. That was wrong, and I want to just like pray with her fairly and stuff like that. I wish、mm. she said that, but yeah, I think it's too much to ask, maybe. But no, but I think that's a good point, though. Women support women, it's really important. So, you know,、mm. maybe she can. I'm not necessarily judging Naomi, but what I'm、yeah. saying is, you know, you know, I. While I was pract-、uh, playing, I was focusing on, so I had no idea. However, after I heard all the stories, I'm really proud of if she really, you know, sincerely、mm. feels that what、mm-hmm. Serena did was right. And maybe she could also, you know, kind of like mention and support each other and encourage、yeah. and, you know, empower other women to speak up. And that, that would be really good, right? Because I think that's,、mm-hmm. that's the part that we're, we're lacking,、uh, excuse me, we're lacking that.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. No woman like supporting each other. I feel like many people are still, whenever the woman's doing such a great job, and some people feel like kind of jealous and,、yeah. you know, feel a little bit competitive and like,、mm-hmm. oh, she is this and like a little bit of a cat fight. And it's really unfortunate <laughs> to see, <laughs> see that、yeah. as well. So I think we, as a woman, we really need to come together and support. And obviously,、mm-hmm. we can't be BFF with everybody. So if, <laughs> no, if, if whoever is even listening and you know they don't agree with me, that's fine because I'm not trying to change someone's mind because I、yeah. really、can't change people. But、mm-hmm. I, I, what I'm really hoping is to really have other women who f e e l the same way, who agree, right? To really、yeah. come together and just support each other on the cause like、mm-hmm. you're doing. So, yeah. Yeah, I、mm-hmm. totally agree. And I think that we need to. Start talking about our experience and then share it and then like interact with each other so that、mm-hmm. we can like bond more strongly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like spread to like people outside of our community, you know.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I com- agree. So, for you, like, what do you think will be the biggest challenge? To close the gender gap in Japan, and how can we overcome that?、Um, it's a really, really difficult <laughs> question, I think.、Um, but I think、um, start claiming what is happening in our real life is the, the first step to close the gap because. Like, I just talked about it with one of my friends yesterday at the dinner table, but、uh, we experienced the sexual harassment on the train. And it's like a daily life thing. Like, if you said that I had a terrible experience on the train to go to school, and everyone said, Oh, I, I experienced it, that, and then you can't change anything because guys don't change. But that's not helping anything, and that's not like, We, we can't stop there,、um, you know, so that、um, it's, it's difficult to、um, do it, but I guess、um, have the courage to talk i n about what happened to you and then、um, like ask, ask for help and also.、Um, You know, ask what other people think will help to、um, like raise awareness among the people who are not experiencing the same thing and also not interested in it. Because if your sister or daughter got the same experience on the train that she t a k e every day, and then you feel like you have to do something, but、um, you they don't. Care or they see those things as a, a stranger's experiencing. So I, I think、um, each people start thinking about those issues as, our, like, as a personal thing, and then people finally feel like stepping up, stepping、mm. in. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. And also, I think reading a magazine like this, um, liberal, right? Um, <laughs> it's gonna also help because this will open up your your idea so much. Like, oh, oh wow, you know, I'm not I'm not alone, or oh wow,、yeah. I guess I'm allowed to do this, or I guess I'm allowed to say this. I feel like so many of us women are. Feel like you know? Oh, we can't, or no, we shouldn't because someone will judge me, right?、Mm, so、mm-hmm. I think you know, reading a magazine like this is such a helpful. But can I ask why did you? Why did you decide to write this and start、oh, this movement? Oh, I um, I was such fan of fashion magazine like Borg and L,、mm. um, because it's an it's a. It's a fashion like high fashion magazine, but they always like have a articles about women empowering and stuff like that. So I was so passionate about reading those articles, and I was so happy to read those articles on the magazine that people are reading. But、um, I realized that the people who read book don't really, especially in Japan, I think. Don't really care about those articles, but care about those fashion、mm-hmm. part of the magazine. And I realized I wish I have a magazine that focus only for that.、Mm-hmm. And then I love watching movies and I love listening to music and stuff like that and get inspired. But I, the most inspirational tool that I had was magazine. Like the words that I read is. Was the most powerful thing to me,、mm. so that like books and novels are good all, as well. But to me, the magazine is the most、um, powerful one to get inspired by. So that, and I love art and fashion as well. So I decided to create one by myself, and then、um, I. I took like two years to finish it, so、um, I don't.、Um, it's a long time ago, but I remember that I want to make something that relatable to girls in Japan, and then just like you said, I want to feel them like you're not alone and you are.、Um, you can do things like I do because I'm a, like. Super normal girl, <laughs> and I'm so <laughs> sensitive, and I'm so bubbly, and I'm so、um, like easy to get nervous.、Mm-hmm. Um, but I can still do something like that, and then like get the feedback like that from you, like、mm-hmm. great feedback from you. So that that's a that gives me a confident, and I、mm-hmm. think I hope that、uh, people who read this magazine feel. That power and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Such a beautiful passion that、oh. you have, and I'm very excited about how you know this is just a start, right? And、yeah. how you know how far you go with this. So you mentioned about your confidence, and of course, we all struggle. I mean, I struggle all the time. When I started this podcast, too, I was thinking,、oh, yeah. who's gonna Who's gonna listen to this? Like, who am I to do this thing? But、uh-huh. so, how would you define your own self confidence, and how are you building your own? Um, I right now I am not confident in myself personally compared to you or other people, but I. Oh jeez,、um, you don't need to compare with anyone. <laughs> I, know, I know that's what I'm always like trying to make、uh, feel like get myself like you don't have to compare to other people and stuff like that. But、mm-hmm. I think it's 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 okay, or you can't help to feel insecure and nervous and vulnerable when you get to the point of like a new place or whatever. And then you feel so nervous, but it's okay to feel like that. But you can you you can take a moment and then remind yourself that、um, you're okay, you're doing all right, and it's gonna be okay. 
and then that and I tried to like uh, breathe uh-huh. deeply and then like trying to meditate myself and then and then I feel like oh I think maybe I can do it and then that's where the like if you keep doing it like practicing it and then um make my make yourself think that way then that that's uh that will pile up and then you feel like uh, like you make you're going to be like oh you can just you you can do it without mm-hmm. thinking about it yeah but yeah but um i think i wanted to say this because i i'm not confident person but having a uh, somebody who always encourage you is the one thing mm. i think is um I, my boyfriend is american and he is super duper like op- not optimistic but you know um logical person but he is super good at saying positive words to me mm-hmm. so if i got lost in an out of control and then i say like oh i don't think i can do it and he always say like no Aww. tell me you can do it and then that's the that's like a I don't know how to say it. I guess like maho no kotoba, and then maho you can. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah, so do. nice. <laughs> yeah, I I don't find anybody like him, mm-hmm. especially in Japan. I don't want to compare Japanese people over American people or Western people because of the cultural differences. But I I I think I. I think it's a little bit difficult to find somebody like him in Japan. Because <laughs> everybody's hey, so... It's, it's love. Just... It's called love. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so great. And I really love how you said that it's okay to be vulnerable and mm. and know that, you know, I'm very nervous and I don't mm. feel confident because... I also believe that what, whatever you do that take that first step or whatever you do, you don't have to have this like, this, I am super confident, you know, like you don't、yeah. have to have that. Just a little、mm-hmm. bit of belief that, okay, I think I can do it. And once you are doing it and then you build more because confidence is something, you know, I believe that it's a, it's a continuous, it's a journey, right? So, yeah. And then I, I think so many people get confused when, when they get nervous.、Mm-hmm. We're all human beings. So, no matter how great speakers you are, you're going to get nervous. And、oh. that means you're doing something right. And being nervous doesn't mean it's, it's a stop. I think that means you're pushing yourself that you're doing the right thing. I, I mean, like, that's how I want to think about it too. So I really、mm-hmm. love how、oh, you、yeah. mentioned, you know, being, being honest and I really appreciate that. And I'm the same way. Whenever I speak in front of people, I get super nervous. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs>、yeah. really? Yeah. So thank you. So I'm going to continue to ask you about the Her Confidence, Her Way Power question. The next、mm-hmm. question that I want to ask you is about Ikigai. Ikigai、yes. is a Japanese concept that means a reason for being and a reason for being in this world. So, what is your Ikigai and what excites you or what is your reason to jump out of bed each morning?、Um, ikigai is, to me, is、um, talking, about <laughs> talking about feminism and talking about how to live the way I am. is...、Mm-hmm. Um, something that I can't miss、mm-hmm. every day. I think about it all the time and I want to like discover the way I live、mm-hmm. as I am.、Mm-hmm. And I, because it's, a, it's, it's very exciting to me and I don't, I don't know if it's for everybody, but I think the more people,、um, Discover the way they are is going to help them、mm-hmm. live their life.、Mm-hmm. So, that, yeah, like making magazine is one way for me to, like, um, g u t a i k a s h i t a 
the 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 way I want to live, and yeah. like so that's what I want to do for life. Yeah, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> and you just mentioned, you know, life is not just about discovering yourself. So I want to know.、Um, so what what kind of advice would you give to people who are You know, wanting to design their own life that they really love. Like, what kind of advice would you give to the listener?、Um, I tried several things, like meditation is one thing, and、mm -hmm. watching a lot of like videos about like building the confidence and building your own personality and stuff like that. Because there are so many videos about it in English. <laughs> so I'm happy that I I can understand English, but yeah. So、uh, trying multiple things is one thing. Like you can watch a lot of videos about it, and、uh, videos or read the books about like what you are interested in, and that will help. And then also、um, for me.、Um, Learning different languages are、um, open my eyes so widely,、mm -hmm. and it showed me a lot of whole a lot of different worlds that exist in this group. So that、um, if you don't know any, if you if if you don't have anything you want to do in your life, and then you are just stuck, you feel like you're stuck, and then I, it's it's. It sounds weird, but like start learning different languages are also interesting. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's good. Because I um I study Korean, French, and English <laughs> when、Whoa. I was in <laughs> yeah university. So I love like that um gives me a lot of confidence. Or they took my hesitation to. Talk with people who don't speak Japanese,、mm -hmm. and yeah, and then that's where I could like know a lot of new informations from.、Mm. So, yeah. Wow, that's really good. And for those、uh, who are listening, and they don't, if they don't know what is meditation, how do you? Nihongo de wa nante ni shitake me me so me so. Hmm. So, ano, jisai don na koto shimasu ka? Um, there are a lot of、uh, there are apps、um, mm -hmm. yeah. about meditation, and then it has like very relaxing music behind it, and then there's a woman talking to you and like just、yeah. breathe in, breathe out, and then like you don't you don't. I just follow actually yeah, follow it's the. It's called guided meditation, I think.、Ah, mm -hmm, guided、yeah. meditation. Hmm. So this ne, I know. I also. あの、はい、もう成功してる人が、もう絶対必ずやることってメディテーション、朝早く起きてメディテーションするっていうのをもう、うん、いろんな人からもうト,トニー・ロビンソンであり、何、はい、オペラであり、みんなやってるっていうから、やって、初めはやっぱできない,、はい。誰でもこう簡単にできるもんではないんですよね。これもやっぱプラクティスなので,、うんで、やっぱりあの、フォーカスして目を閉じて、これは、やっぱ頭をクリアするっていうことなので、何も多分考えないようにすることなんだと思うんですけども、やっぱり初めの頃はこうやって目つぶってると、あ、これやらなきゃ、あ、そこからもやらなきゃっていうのが<笑>、うん、出てくるけど、最近はやっぱり私も、あの、もう本当に5分とか、長くはできないんですけども、やっぱちょっと子供が起きる前に早く起きて、やって、最近はなんかそれをしないと、ちょっとなんか自分が崩れ、なんか自分の軸がないというか、うん、そういうとこまで来てるので、I think、あの、リスナーさんでも、瞑想って言うとなんか多分日本で、あんまなんか,あなかな、そうね、怪しい思われるかもしれないけど、<笑>あの、まあ、ヨガ、ヨガとかでもい、ね、大体あの、ヨガ終わった後に結構みんな、あの、メディテーションを取り入れてとかってやってるヨガもあるみたいなので、うん、うん、あの。呼吸法とかっていうのもあるので、でねうんうんうん、呼吸法を調べてもらうと結構
もうちょっと怪しくない。そうっていうちょっとね。<笑>あれなんですけど。知れるかもしれないですね。なるほど、わかりました。どうもありがとうございます。そして、<笑> so what's next? So what can we expect from you for for this magazine and your your passion and in things that you're doing? Like what what is your next goal and and what do you want to tell the listeners about your magazines? How to get these magazines? Where can we meet you if you have an <laughs> event in Japan and how can we connect with you and all that? Um so about the magazine, we just finished the first magazine. So um there are so many in- information that we missed. Like we we just like Put the not like name or word of that I I want to give you and stuff like that. But we we didn't have a lot of space to like introduce all of the keywords and the people that we want to introduce in the magazine. So I'm going to、um, I'm planning to、um, give more information on Instagram of the magazine. It's called Jin Liberal Z I N E. L I B E R I L.、Mm-hmm. It's Zinrebel, but、um, we are like、um, planning to give you more information about what we get inspired by.、Mm-hmm. And I am personally thinking about making the second magazine、um, for next year, I think. Because it's almost over. The, this year is almost over. So yeah, next year I'm thinking about making new magazine, but it, it's、um, going to be feminism related, of course. But also I want to talk about. I'm thinking about talking about like more about LGBTQ and also、oh, yeah. more about relationship with、uh, family, like、mm. mother and daughter. And、oh, you know、so、the relationship with、uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah, that's、mm-hmm. that's what I'm passionate about too. So、mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, I can see that、um, on in the magazine.、Um, I see the flag, two flags、mm-hmm. with the you know the rainbow and then with the the blue one with the two、uh, yellow Line. eco lines. Yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I was just about to ask you. So that's amazing and. Listeners,、um, for those who are listening, I highly recommend you guys to get this. Oh, so how can we get this? Oh, I just <laughs>、uh, start selling online. Okay, and, online. Yes,、uh, if you go to my、uh, Jinrebel Instagram account, and you can see the URL be-、uh, okay. below my yeah profile,、okay. then you can get、okay. it. And then、yeah. you get it a physical copy or the PDF. Ah,、uh, you the can get、digital. the physical copy. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it's beautiful, like all the pictures,、uh-huh. the color, and yes, everything is just <laughs> so good. And is this only so you can either get it with the picture,、um, excuse me, a physical copy, or also digital as well? Or、um, I'm only thinking about selling、uh, as a physical copies, but if People wants to get it.、Um, I'm just thinking right now. Okay, because I was gonna、yeah. say, like people like me who are living in U.S. Yeah, a, you know, it might be easy to get the the digital too. But I mean, obviously, it's not. This isn't mine. <laughs> it's yours. So. <laughs> Yeah. So you're definitely gonna be making that decision. So all those who are listening, who wants to connect with Yuri-san, Yuri-san account or Zin Liberal、uh, Instagram account, both are available.、Mm-hmm. So I will make、yeah. sure to link all the、Thank、all the links、you. that you have mentioned on my website, the show notes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else? Ah.、Uh... I would love to talk to the people who read the magazine and get the feedback. That will help so much to me.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I w- I can't wait to actually talk with them, like、mm-hmm. that that like how we start talking on Instagram.、Mm-hmm. It was a great like meet on、mm-hmm. Instagram. So yeah, yeah, got it. So just involve with. With Yuri San or what? Not, not involve.、Um, engage. <laughs> yes. Right. Engage. Yeah. Yeah. 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining with me today. And、oh, I really you appreciate、so、your time.、Mm-hmm. And I'm really looking forward to your next and more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. I had an amazing time. I love、oh. talking with you.、Mm-hmm. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Isn't Yuri amazing or what? I totally enjoyed my conversation with her, and I hope you did too. We talked a lot offline too, and、um, I wish you guys are listening to our conversation. It was so amazing, especially before we started. We talked a lot. And、um, I recently found out that Yuri is also such a creative artist too. And、um, I don't know why she didn't mention. She should have. <laughs> She.、Um, Check her account. Her personal account is yuri underbar, yuri navy, navy. And then her、um, product and service account is yuri navy. So yuri navy. I'll make sure to link. All those links、uh, on my website. But she does so many amazing paintings and so beautiful. Next time I go back to Japan, I will totally buy some of her、um, products and the paints. It's on canvas. It's so pretty. Like, trust me, you will not regret going to her page. So please do. Okay. And also, she also messaged me recently that her magazine is actually available on magazine now.、Uh, I mean, on、uh, Amazon now. So you should definitely check that out. I will make sure to link. And.、Um, She also started to sell the digital version of her magazine too, so I am super super excited. Guess what? So, she said, I'm going to say, Yuri is going to say, Zin Liberal, the digital version of the magazine, is going to be a very good one. So, I'm going to say, Her Confidence Her Way, the listener, is going to be a lucky listener, and the listener is going to be a lucky listener. えー、とリスナーさんでマガジンを無料でプレゼントしてくれます。ゆりさんどうもありがとうございます。So this is a special giveaway. でですね、詳細は私のインスタグラムの、えー、ポッドキャスト、このエピソード86、ゆりさんとのポッドキャストのエピソードの、えー、記事、投稿に詳細を、えー、と書きます。そしてあ、インスタグラムがない方は、Her Confidence Her Way の、えー、Facebook コミュニティでも、えー、詳細を書きますなので必ず私のインスタグラムアカウントをフォローするかまたは Her Confidence Her Way の Facebook のフリーコミュニティに参加してくださいということで2018年皆さんこのポッドキャストを聞いていただきどうもありがとうございましたそして2019年もこれからもよろしくお願いします Alright, just on the FYI, I have another blooper version. This one is gonna be really funny, so wait for it. And have a happy new year! Bye bye! Yeah, okay, so I'm not even kidding. I just did the Google, I just typed Japanese woman, and the first thing that I see is a woman. It says top 10 beautiful Japanese woman 2018, and the picture is. A、uh, woman like laying with naked. Like, well, not like <laughs> naked, but. <laughs> Lily. Um. I swear. Every single time, Lily, mommy do interviews, you have to come come in. Um. So, woman like laying on the bed with like just underwear or. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or. <laughs> Or a woman with like a maid, maid or son? Yeah, but I don't think we can't blame those like Western people to fantasize about Japanese people because, like, if you go to a place like Akihabara or like Shinsai Bashi in Osaka, you can see a bunch of those maid girls on the street and then they're waving and like. Come to the cafe and we will serve you as you like wish and stuff like that. And it's so disgusting to me, but it's、um, like business. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hang, hang on one second. Welcome to my life. Bye bye.